Yo, what is good, everybody? It is your boy, Ann. And Ange. Coming at you with a live tabletop matchup. Eldritch Dogmatica versus Dragon Link. We have a great video for you guys today, so if you guys like the content, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel because we got new videos coming out every Monday and Wednesday, so hit the bell icon you'll be up to date on all that sweet content. Take it away, Eldritch. So I opened up really, really well. I opened up the Extravagance with the Ecclesia. I opened up three Infinite and Permanences as well. And then I drew into the uh, Black Awakening, and then I think I drew into something else. I think it was the other Infinite Impermanence, but I pretty much drew the Nuts right now. So I get the Ecclesia Search, I get the Extravagance off, and then I set five and pass um, also summoning the Golden Lord, so applying that pressure as well. Now another thing to note is, with the Extravagance, I did get rid of my Double Entus, and that probably will come up later on in the game. So I am really scared right now shaking in my boots because i have five back row against the trap deck and i know there's going to be a lot of disruption to play through on my turn i'm anticipating a couple pops at least i know i got to go through the dogmatic of punishment and i am expecting a conquistador or maybe even a wakero so i'm just trying to play through my hand as best as i can i get the chaos space which is really really helpful to get my chaos dragons going and my opponent is going to have a lot of disruptions for me so i'm just trying to play through them all i believe i actually drew the lance as well and that is going to let me get some dragoonity plays going but it's going to hurt because my opponent is going to hit me with a lot of imperms that was something i did not expect i did not expect to triple imperm coming out of this because uh that is just really too swole to play against actually uh having negates for every single one of my good choke points is going to really put a damper on my plays what i'm trying to do right now is just to go into guard dragon plays at least i'm trying to bait him out before i get my needle fiber out so i'm trying to just special summon and then get into the protector whelp so i could set up some arrows and i'm trying to force him to pop that before he's able to actually pop my halky fibrax so i do that he's gonna respond with the punishment so that way he can clear my board of that a little bit so i don't have my arrows to set up my guard dragon plays yes and i send the titan clad as well because i didn't have the entus as well yeah. and at this point right now i know that he's gonna have to recharge you there uh, I mean, the uh, the spell to get it out, and then I just infinite permanence the LP as well, so double negate on that one. Yeah, that was huge. I definitely had a rookie mistake playing it in that column, but like I said, I didn't expect a triple imperm because I was just straight up nuts. And then I tried to get some revive plays going here, at least a little bit, but then I just get hit with another negate, and that is going to wrap yeah. it up for my turn as well. And then I get the double uh, L Lich and the end phase Titan Clad, especially Ecclesia, searching the flirt elise and i know at this point right here it's gonna be crazy because on my standby i use the uh, scarlet effect getting the wakero and the idea right now is just, just to straight up otkm you know go making you know very much of you know more wild plays not very conservative as you typically want to be with this deck because this deck has a hard time otking so what i'm doing is i'm just getting rid of the l liches because I can't make the um, I can't make the dreadnoughts at all because I banished them through extravagance, unfortunately. Otherwise, I totally would have done that instead. Uh, so I just make the phoenix. I just pop the boot. I can get over the uh, red MD with a 35 L lich, and then I attack for 3,000 and then 2,000 with the flirt de Lis effect. Uh, and on top of that, I have a set conquistador as well, and another scarlet and a white set. So I, I have multiple ways of to getting out the other golden lords. And I know at this point, I only have one disruption, so I'm kind of really helping to get it out. But unfortunately, I get the win. Going on to game two, of course, you know I gotta go first as the Dragon Link player. And I open up pretty good. I get my safer off, and that's gonna let me get my Chaos Dragons again to start off my plays. So I am going to get my White and Boot Sector launch, because I believe I have some tuners in my hand, so I need to get that going. Try to play through as many disruptions as possible. I'm going to try to get the Romulus play. And I am going to get met with the Imperm right there. So that's going to hurt. It's going to stop me from getting into my Phalanx. And then getting into my Herald. 
but I have a quick launch as well. So that was the tuner extender that I needed in my hand. And then I go into a link cross right here. This may be a little bit of a misplay because I clogged up my field a little bit because I get hit with the second imperm, which is just crazy as well. But uh, what I was trying to do was um, just get as many resources on board so that way when I go into my other tuner, hopefully I can set up some good plays with that. The unfortunate thing about my hand though was that I drew the recharger the whole time, so I need to go about my plays in a really, really awkward way throughout the rest of the turn because I want to set up at least a Borload Savage and I need to be able to revive the recharger and get another rocket tracer on board as well. So I use the striker dragon effect and then get the recharger back to my hand and then use recharges effect pitching him to the grave to special summon the tracer and then I use tracers effect to pop the token, get an LP with the rocket synchron and then make him into a pisty as well. Setting up my guard dragon place to try to get something going here at least a little bit. So I special summon from my deck with LP the black metal dragon because this is going to allow me to get the most resources for the least amount of cost go into the borlode savage dragon because it's a dark dragon and it sets up arrows for pisty pisty is going to revive the tracer and then red md is going to banish the pisty to get back the recharger so i can make the level eight he's going to respond with lord release right there and i'm going to have just a Borload Savage disruption on his turn. Yeah, and unfortunately I drew pretty garbage to be honest with you. There was multiple ways I could have possibly broke this board, uh, but none of them were very good. So he, I'm gonna try to get out, you know, a, a search. He's gonna negate it. I think it's a destruct. I thought it was a destruction at first, but then he's like, no, it's just straight up just only negate. Um, but what I should have done was two things. I should have kept the Flirt at least in hand, baiting out a Beating out something to where I could have an extra card so I could search out another Golden Lord somehow, uh, which I definitely had that option to. Uh, then I would just like send uh, the Savage through Lord and then I would revive him back and then just attack over something else. And then through other effects, I would just probably like, you know, get rid of Black to get like a Conquistador to disrupt and destroy his Boral Sword for the following turn. But I unfortunately didn't think about that at the time of uh, doing this duel, so I'm just trying to find a way to dig myself out of this one. Uh, so at the time, my play was just to create some sort of board that I know he's going to break anyways, but you just got to play it out sometimes. So on my turn, I'm just trying to figure out a way to OTK and um, get more advantage on board. So I use my red md effect to revive a dragon monster and what i'm trying to do right now is like go into saryuja because i want to get the brotar in my hand to be able to special summon so i just need three monsters of different names right there and go into the saryuja with all of these three red md the romulus i revived and the token that i got from last turn from the link cross that's going to let me get saryuja and then saryuja is going to special summon from my hand the brotar Brotar effect is going to let me search for the Chaos Dragon Levianir. Really, really strong card right there. So many versatile effects right there is going to let me pop two. And it's going to clear the field so that way I can OTK on this turn. And here we are, finally, with the all-important game three. I go first, and I also have, I drew very, very well. I get the, I uh, pay 8 and feel great, getting the Conquistador, I set, and then I have one card in hand, which is a Draw and Lock Bird, which I forget to activate, so that was a big misplay on my end. Uh, what I should have done was, as soon as he activated Safer, I should have just dropped the Droll, uh, and then he would have been stuck fairly well, because I also have a Summon Limit as well, so that was a misplay on my end, and it will probably cost me the game to be honest with you. Most definitely. The summon limit would also be pretty swell if I didn't have the Cosmic Cyclone in my hand, the only side deck card that I've seen in my opening hand. And then I'm just gonna go off with my Chaos Dragons right here. And then again, just play, try to play through as many disruptions as I possibly can, trying to bait out as much stuff as I can as well. He has full access to his Golden Boy engine, which is going to be a pretty good amount of disruption right here. But I am going to attempt to play through it all, 
trying to get into my Romulus play right here to get the Phalanx and try to set up a Herald before I have anything to worry about. So I know he has to bait all that stuff out. He does all that. I get quick launch on the chain of the Ewok Hero so that way I can have a monster on my field before it gets potentially popped. Yeah, and I do think I did the, the Conquistador a little bit too early, but I know that his goal was to get the Herald uh, at any point, so I just, if I felt like I had to negate, uh, or pop it rather, just so that he doesn't have that link too, because I know that he could just go straight into like the link cross and then link cross into, you know, the tokens and etc, etc, everyone else knows the synchro plays from there. Yeah, so now I am trying to bait out just the last back row that he has. So I'm going to attempt to use the Striker Dragon effect to put the Recharger back into my hand. I know that's a decent amount of pressure because it has a revive effect if I choose to use that. Um, but also getting him back into my hand also gives me live target for the Boot Sector launch as well. So he about just Wakaro's that. When I try to activate it, it doesn't go through because I missed the target and uh, I'm able to just boot sector launch and then go into my needle fiber plays from there and then I have full synchro stuff going on right now. Of course, I can't get the Herald right now because I need to set it up for LP. So I use the Marcher and the Link Cross to go into my Protector and then get into my Brotar plays. Now my goal is to pretty much just try to OTK with the Boral Load Sev, with the uh, Boral Sword maybe set up another negate as well if he has follow up for my next turn but i draw pretty nutty i uh have the levy and then i use pisty to get back my safer because uh that is going to let me get back my levy again so i use those four to go into my boral, boral sword use safer its effect to get my levy back so that i can um summon him again and then be able to attack and then that is going to let me get the otk right there with all the monsters that I have. Of course, I just needed to do a little bit of quick damage calculation to make sure that all of my damage was gonna go through. I uh, used Boral Sword to gain the attack, which is gonna make him 42. My opponent already is minus eight, so all I need was a measly 72 to finish the game, which I easily get and win with Dragon Link. Well, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the duel. Though there are some misplays, it is okay. We always talk about them to make sure that you guys don't make those in the future. Thank you guys for watching the video, and we will see you next time. Peace.